Look, the reality is that this is a disastrous energy strategy announced today. In fact, it's not a strategy, it's lunacy. All it's going to do is increase fivefold the amount of offshore uh, wind farms, wind turbines, renewables, and there is a direct link why energy prices, why electricity prices have tripled in the last 15 years, from 2005 to 2020, and the increase in renewables. Absolute direct link because of the subsidies, the balancing costs, the transmission costs. And rather than learn the lesson, the government have not doubled down, they've trebled down on this mistake. So that is disastrous. The, the expansion or, or sort of reverting to nuclear that we were very good at, yes, it's welcome. We've been calling that for a long time, but it's a decade plus yeah. away. The but better of, now than never. Better now than never, fine. A little bit of credit where credit's due. But what they haven't done is the obvious thing, which is remember, there are 25 million domestic gas boilers in this country. And electricity never has and never will power a gas boiler, right? It's just a matter of engineering fact. And they've done nothing for gas, whereas actually we have this treasure under our feet that you and I have talked about before. All they've done is said, um, we will we'll review the evidence about seismicity. It's a nice new word for us all to remember. That's the, the, the nice way of talking about um, earthquakes, tremors, moving your chair across the floor. That's 0.5 of a tremor. Um, that's what we should be doing. We should be going hard now for this treasure under our feet that's worth about the value of our national debt. I mean, this is serious money, Colin. Who's pushing for that in government, Richard? Because no one. No one is pushing yet the for that in government. The, the idea of poor, you know, Quadrilla in Lancashire having to pour cement down yes. the walls, that's gone, right? That, 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 that went um, at, at the last minute, and that was, I think, thanks to the pressure that, that some of us from the outside have been putting on, and some Tory MPs like Steve Baker and Craig McKinley and co from the inside. But they're, remember, they're not in government. Uh, within Bayes... Uh, Kwasi Kwarteng, his team within number 10, massive resistance to this huge opportunity that's right there under our feet. And I remind everybody, particularly those who say it wouldn't make any difference because we're subject to world prices, the United States mm. has gas prices, a fraction of ours. And what do they use, Colin? They use their own domestic shale gas. And the moment they started it in the late 2000s, their gas prices collapsed. Mm. And that's our opportunity. So... My prediction, if we go down this route of more renewables, more wind farms, electricity prices in the next five to ten years will double or treble again from these levels. Imagine that. That's where this is going. That's why I think it's lunacy.